Hi, I'm Dan Knowles, and welcome to Back Alley Paris, Tennessee. With the Tennessee Arts Commission grant called Arts Building Communities, Back Alley Paris is painting the town. Believe it or not, back around 1900, our Paris downtown included a courthouse, seven groceries, six clothing and dry goods stores, three pharmacies, one opera house, one city hall with library, one photographer, four restaurants, one shoe store, two undertakers, six saloons, one liquor store, three doctor's offices, and several other businesses which we don't speak of today. In the first phase of Back Alley Paris, local artist Jane Bars really tapped into that history. Next to the downtown Fountain Plaza, Jane's murals depict vignettes of businesses in downtown Paris in the early 1900s. Some of these businesses were even located on this very alley. The next phase is called Windows on the West Alley. They were painted by John Monroe and myself, Dan Knowles. Our first mural was The Lady in the Red Dress. In this one, we imagined the inside of the Howard Dry Goods Store, which was once located in this very building. We also introduced the three images that would be in all of these West Alley murals. A lady in a red dress, a chandelier, and a Kilroy was here. The ring quickly followed to imagine a jeweler working on an engagement ring for a waiting couple. Then came the lady doctor and her brother, honoring Dr. Henrietta Veltman and her brother Stuart. Dr. Veltman was the first female doctor in Paris in Henry County, and her brother Stuart single-handedly brought running water to Paris, Tennessee. Bloody Monday was next. On June 4, 1888, Kenny Porter, who was the son of Governor Porter, murdered Will Edwards, the son of Paris's most prominent physician. Later that same day, Alex White killed in self-defense Dudley Porter, another of Governor Porter's sons. Finishing up this phase of the project, I painted John Monroe and he painted me. How cool is that? In 2017, I dove into phase three with Voyage de Chronique, which is French for a journey through time. It was based on the question of what makes this community special? The answer to me was obviously our people. Our hardworking folks in the railroad are the two fountainheads of middle-class prosperity in this community. These were painted large to bring home their importance. I had a really great time painting the three courthouses and all of the folks on the lawn. This painting wouldn't exist without the input of so many special folks, but especially Larry Ray and Ray Harding. 2019, phase four, we wanted to recognize entertainment in our region. So we painted phantoms of the Crete Opera House. In this, I was helped by several Henry County art students, but especially Ariel McDonald, who has worked on my mural since. Honored in this painting are Carl Holder, Cherry Jones, Bobby Jones, Gaines Hedges, Marcellus Teague, Michael Williams, and David Webb. I painted so many of our folks in this one that if you'll look, I bet you you'll find yourself. I don't recall whose idea it was, but uh, later that same year, I constructed the large Eiffel Tower to go between and balance the two large murals. This completed phase four. Later that same year, Ariel and I painted a mural set titled Electricity a river cycle. This was painted under a grant from the City of Paris, Tennessee, Board of Public Utilities and the Tennessee Valley Authority. The first mural in this set is titled Before. 
and it covers the vast time before the TVA. Then, the coming of the TVA. And it honors George W. Norris, the far-seen father of the Tennessee Valley Authority. Third, the era, 1940s through 1960s, showing the first major impacts of the TVA and electricity upon our region. Lastly, today, the gift. It is a collage featuring images of so many of our friends and neighbors, each using and benefiting from this almost mystical substance. This year, 2020, I painted The Legacy, Edwin Wiley Grove, Parisian philanthropist pharmacist. This honors Dr. E.W. Grove, the inventor of Grove's tasteless chill tonic and the founder of the Paris Medicine Company. Years ago, this area was rife with malaria, a mosquito-borne disease. The only effective treatment was quinine. Quinine is an extremely bitter and unpalatable substance. Right across the alley from here, Dr. Grove invented a takeable patent medicine he called Grove's Tasteless Chill Tonic. In its day, it outsold Coca-Cola. In 1906, Dr. Grove paid for the building and endowed Grove's school. A hundred plus years later, this endowment is still funding educational projects in the Henry County Schools. I would like to thank the City of Paris, the Tennessee Arts Commission, the Board of Public Utilities, the Tennessee Valley Authority, the other artists, and you, my fellow citizens of Paris, Tennessee, for your help, support, and encouragement in these art projects. But especially, I would like to thank Kathy Ray of the Downtown Paris Association for listening to these ideas and making it all happen.